Hello Portland, I'm Commander Lacey Lodmel, Commanding Officer of Pre-Commissioning Unit Oregon, SSN 793. We're really happy to give you a chance to take a look at one of our Virginia class submarines today. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there and my crew couldn't be there for the Portland Rose Festival, which we would love to experience. Uh, but someday in the future, we look forward to, to seeing your fine city and seeing uh, and you folks getting a chance to see our submarine once we get our commission. And with that, here's the tour. I am Chief Justin Stewart. I am the assistant navigator on board. So we're gonna go ahead and start the tour now. Just to give you an idea of where we add in the submarine, we are in four compartment upper level. So we have three levels in the four compartment. So we have a four compartment upper level, four compartment middle level, and four compartment lower level. So how the tour is gonna go is we're gonna start in upper level, transition to middle level, and ultimately to go down to lower level where you get to see our awesome torpedo room. The first area I wanna show you, or space I wanna show you in the four compartment is our lockout trunk. The lockout trunk was designed in the event that we were unable to resurface the ship after submerging. And this is where sailors would be able to escape from the submarine. I'm gonna take a step inside real quick and give you guys kind of an idea of what the space is like. So in the lockout trunk, Navy SEALs and divers can come and we can flood up and pressurize the lockout trunk to allow the upper hatch to open and then they can swim off, do what Navy SEALs and Navy divers do, and then they can come back and nobody would ever know where they came from. So we just finished our tour up in four compartment upper level. We are in four compartment middle level now. We're in the what's known as the command passageway. We're going to transition to cruise mess where we eat and do a lot of our training. So come follow me. So you can continue to follow me and we'll walk into cruise mess. I'm going to take my cover off as we come into cruise mess. That's a sign of respect for the people that may in World War II or submariners that may have been in some sort of war fighting that we can use cruise mess as a backup triage center in the event that we found ourselves in a bad situation in wartime. So we've made our way from cruise mess to control. We're still in four compartment middle level. Uh, control is the, the space where the officer of the deck, who is the captain's representative on watch, gives the orders that drive and ultimately fight. We have all of our tactical watch standards, so that includes our officer of the deck, our contact manager, our fire control technicians of the watch, our sonarmen, our quartermasters of the watch, and the navigation team, all stand watch and work together to get the ship to where it needs to be. The pilot and the co-pilot are senior enlisted uh, watch standards, so usually a senior chief, Petty officer, a chief petty officer, or a very senior first class petty officer stand the watch in the pilot and co-pod. And they work in tandem to monitor all of the major systems on the ship and actually control all the ship driving. So welcome to the torpedo room. Uh, this is where we obviously hold our, our torpedoes. So we have four torpedo tubes, uh, two on the port side, two on the starboard side, and we can have a fully loaded out torpedo room with 28 uh, warships. Um, we also, in the torpedo room, can use this area as a birthing mod for overflow, um, you know, outside of our regular birthing. So we're in a birthing now. This is a traditional six sailor birthing. So high racking is where three sailors will share two different racks. So there's always going to be a sailor that's on watch, and then we man three eight hour watches 24 hours a day, 365 days a year if we're underway for that long, right? And we're ready to do it, trust me. But while the on watch sailor is on watch, you'll have a guy that is off going from watch who doesn't have any watch standing duties that he would do, but normally they would, you know, train or work or it's their time to relax. And then you have the oncoming sailor who is about to take the watch. So the eight hours before his watch starts, he would normally be in the rack. So those two racks and that three sailor rotation allows for both of the sailors that not on watch, if they need to have some rack time, one can be in rack number one, the other could be in rack number two, and they would share the space in between to 
the, the stowage space, and I'll show you that real quick. Um, as we look up, we have our rack pan, so they would share this small space together. So we actually have uh, plenty of room because we learned how to pack it in like sardines. Thank you, and if you ever need anything from us, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of one of our fantastic Virginia-class submarines, and I look forward to seeing you someday in the future. Until then, stay safe and have fun. And as we say on board, on board Oregon, Trailblazers, mount up! <laughs>